Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss an example for converting the complex number in the Cartesian form into the polar form. So step number one, we are going to have the diagram. So the name of the diagram is Argon diagram. So the purpose of having the Argon diagram is to illustrate Okay, last bit. Where is the location of the complex numbers? So, for example, this is what we call the uh, imaginary axis. Here we have the real axis. So, the location for the complex number will be in the first quadrant. So, for example, 5 plus 12i. So, here will be the theta. Second step. We are going to look for the modulus of Z. Or we can say the modulus of Z. So the formula for the modulus of Z would be square root of A squared plus B squared. So in this case, the modulus of Z will be equals to A will be equals to 5. So we will have 25 plus B we will have 12 so it is 144 so after we simplify the situation we will have square root of 169 so which is equals to 13 for the modulus of z so for the third step we are going to look for the argument of z okay the argument of z so before that the formula will be tangent theta is equals to y over x so in this case the tangent theta is equals to 12 over 5 so the theta will be equals to 67.38 so as a basic angle so this is our theta 67.38 so, if it's in the mode radian, it will be 1.176 radian. So, now we are going to look for the argument. So, by referring to the diagram that we have previously, this is what we call the theta. Okay. So, where is the argument of Z? So, here we have the argument of Z. So, the argument of Z is equal to theta. So, our argument of Z will be equal to 1.176 radian. So, finally, step number 4, polar form. So, Z in the Cartesian form, 5 plus 12i. So for the polar form, it will be 13 cos 1.176 plus i sine 1.176. So here we are and thanks for watching.